In this tutorial, I will show you how to specify tick location using another data set and how to display customized tick labels. We begin with a workbook and a graph side by side and let's customize the axes for this graph. I'm going to double click on the x-axis to bring up the axis dialog. First thing we'll do is change the from and to value for the x scale. And then we're going to specify to use the values from column C in our worksheet to position our tick marks on the x-axis. So specify from the drop-down list, click Apply. Now we see we have tick marks drawn at those values. I'm going to rescale the y-axis, changing our increment to 0.5. The graph updates. We're going to turn on the display of the top X and the right Y axes. Check Show Axis and Ticks, Apply, repeat that for the right selection, which will turn on the right Y axis. Now if we want to turn on or, or, or change the tick direction, there's a major ticks, minor ticks, we can set those to in tick marks will point in. We can apply that to the entire layer, so for both X and Y axes our tick marks are pointing in. We're going to add tick labels to the top X axis, so you make that selection on the tick labels tab. Show major labels, and from the drop down we're going to use values from column D. We choose tick indexed data set so that at each tick mark it'll position from that column. Select again from our drop down, custom label, and click apply. On the custom tick labels tab, we can rotate these. Labels. Let's do a little cleanup of our graph. Okay, now we can read those. We'll repeat that for the bottom x axis. Let's rotate those tick labels. Now the tick labels are still drawn off the page, but first things, let's add major grids. It'll be a little bit easier to read our graph here, so our top and bottom x-axes, the tick marks are lining up here. We turned on those grids. Now to get a better view of the graph, if we right-click, we can choose Fit Page to Layers. So we can adjust the size of the page and layer. And now we have a very customized graph. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.